So what are week? So week 18 of 2024 and no doubt when it comes to Kenyan football, we still have a lot of news and updates to give you and who else better than LFB Love Football, the biggest Kenyan football channel to bring you and keep you up to date when it comes to matters Kenyan football. And yes, some sad news, some good news, promotions, suspensions, money. So stick around and check out what we have in store. So we start today's video with some sad news. Uh, Mara Sugar FC team manager Thomas Odward has sadly passed on. Our condolences to the family and the team at this time. Harambe Starlet's captain Ruth Ngozi scored as her club Simba Queens defeated JKT Queens 2 0 on Monday afternoon. With some of the leagues entering the tail end, we now can announce the promotion and relegation and who is likely to be in the playoffs. And so on to promotion, whereas APS Bomet FC have been promoted back to the National Super League after winning the FKF Division 1 Zone B League through the leadership of coach Alfred. McCollins FC, FC Leopards Ladies and Fortune Ladies, Bandari Queens, Viker Queens and Kakamega Starlets have been promoted to the FKF Women's National Super League. Michael Olunga Foundation, Mofa FC have secured a place in the FKF Division 1 League Playoff after finishing second in Zone B. They'll face the runners-up from Zone A, which will either be Fortune Sako FC or 3K FC. The winner will play in the National Super League and that's some exciting stuff. Again, as we enter the tail end of the leagues, we now have speculation over who might be joining, you know, which teams. Um, some players have already come out and said how they've been approached by a number of teams. And starting off, Sofapaka FC striker Jacob Onyango is being courted by several FKF Premier League clubs. He is expected to depart Batotu Bamungu at the end of the season. Goldmeyer coach Jonathan McKenzie explains why left-back Levin Odiambo will not play for the club this season despite being issued with a card by the Federation after being acquired from Tasca on 1st April, which is outside the transfer window. Levin is ready to play. Unfortunately, we haven't been given authorization we find acceptable from the Federation. We have been issued with his card and have asked the Federation in writing for confirmation. Basically, upon what rule has been used to allow him to be registered. He registered outside the transfer window and we want to be super careful to old Liggy Talk. Emery and Patrick's contracts with Goldmeyer will expire at the end of the season and it is highly unlikely that the two will be offered new contracts. Goldmeyer bound Samuel Capen speaks of his desire to win titles. I don't wish to be remembered as a player who terrorized defenders, scored and created goals but didn't win a title. I crave the league or Mozart Bet Cup's winner's medal. I have been approached by five clubs but I haven't penned a pre-contract with any, contrary to what has been reported. Together with my agent, we have been studying the offers and by Friday evening, a decision will be made, he revealed. The Marshall Meiji 2.0, which is the ladies' version, uh, where Gormaya drew with FC Leopards, unlike the win that Gormaya did when it came to the men's Marshall Meiji derby. So speaking of the Marshall Meiji derby, Gormaya and FC Leopards have both been fined for damages incurred during the game. Gormaya will pay 126,000, whereas FC Leopards will pay 505,450 Kenya shillings. Additionally, FC Leopards will be banned from using any Sports Kenya facility after the fine is settled. It is now revealed that FC Leopards in the Art 60 committee raised a total of 18 million. President William Ruto made the biggest contribution of 10 million Kenya shillings with Sports CS Ababu Namwamba and Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja giving 2 million each. Shabana and Gormaya both received 1 million Kenya shillings for both participating in the event. Sports CS Ababu Namwamba has been ranked as one of the best performing cabinet secretaries by TIFA. FC Leopards has announced that Catherine is the club's new media liaison officer and she will leave the club's communication department. Kenya under 17 team Junior Starlets played Two friendlies against Premier League sides. They defeated Ulinzi Starlets 1 0 before drawing 2 2 with Kibera Soccer Ladies. The Starlets are preparing for next week's Under 17 World Cup 
qualifier against Ethiopia. FC Talanta versus Nairobi City Stars played a few weeks ago in Matakos resulted in the suspension of three referees, a player and a team manager. In the match, three penalties were awarded, two to Talanta and one to Nairobi City Stars. Both penalties were saved by Nairobi City Stars goalkeeper, whereas Nairobi City Stars scored theirs through Mohamed. And finally, six out of the nine March Week 28 FK Premier League matches will be televised and take note of some of the big and key games in March Week 28. I conclude this video with a highlight and whereby Madara United CEO Jackson Obode couldn't keep calm after his side drew or rather got the equalizer with Silhouette FC. So that's been it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and checking out the updates and how exciting the week has been in Kenyan football. Do check out our other social media platforms at LFB Love Football. Do like this video and subscribe to Kenya's biggest football channel. And as always, as always, support Kenyan football. We out.